Events are all about creating connections, connections between attendees, between brands and their audience. And no matter the industry, games are a great way to connect a community. So instead of the same old cocktail mixer that everybody does, I've got eight ideas for networking games for you that you should try out at your next event. Hey everybody, it's Katie here with Endless Events. And when people think of networking at an event, it's often a little bit intimidating the thought of approaching random strangers and trying to figure out what to say. So we have got eight more structured networking game ideas that I think will be really fun for you to try out at your next event. So number one is speed networking. You've probably heard of speed dating before. Well, in speed networking, people have five to seven minutes to ask each other questions and connect with each other and it really takes the awkwardness out of approaching a random stranger and you can even use a matching software ahead of time to pair people together who have similar interests. Number two is round tables. So targeted round tables are group networking but instead of a random assignment, you group people together based on categories like job title or geographical location and this is a lot less intimidating than one-on-one -on -one networking. Number three is scavenger hunts for a little fun and friendly competition. You can send out a link to a scavenger hunt app and and then participants can group up into teams where they will have to participate in challenges like visiting sponsor booths, taking a team photo and sharing it on social media with the conference hashtag, or finding someone else with the same job title as them. Number four is a business card collection contest, which is kind of a classic, but it adds a little bit of an element of competition and allows people to have an incentive to want to talk to more people and collect the most business cards. Number five is human bingo, which is exactly what it sounds like. So you create bingo cards ahead of time and you can fill them with things like has worked in the industry for five plus years, specializes in SEO, or something more casual like has visited another country this year, and then people just walk around, talk to each other, and fill up their bingo cards based on who they talk to. Number six is quick fire questions. So you have people pick a partner and they have one minute to fire off as many questions as they can in that one minute. But this is really good because it avoids people feeling like they get stuck talking to one person for too long. Number seven is people organizer. So you organize everyone into one big group and then you break it down into smaller groups based on things like um, their job title, their favorite sports team. It could really be anything, but it gives people an idea of who they should connect with and talk to further. And number eight is switch sides if. So you basically are dividing everybody up into two different groups and then they switch sides based on their yes or no answer to a question that you provide. So we've learned that networking is usually one of the top reasons that people attend events. So making it worthwhile for them and doing your best to bring the right people together will really go a long way. So I hope you'll try out one of these ideas at your next event. On our blog, we've linked a bunch of resources for you. So things like different apps you can use to organize the scavenger hunt and things like that. So if you wanna get more details on any of these ideas, you can click the link in our description box and head there and let us know in the comments below if there's a fun or unique networking game that you've done at an event because we would love to hear about it and learn more ideas. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more great event planning tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.